Alex Galchenyuk making his debut. And he will play on the left side with Tavares and Nylander. And Sheldon Keefe is trying to convince people that uh, the Leafs have it figured out. They got a plan that no one else had. And you got to play this guy with really high-quality players. As if when he was in Pittsburgh, he didn't play with Malkin or Sid. But <laughs> right. listen, I think it's worth a shot. I am curious. I am curious. We know his talent. We know his track record. Uh, yeah. He has to make me a believer, and I think he has to make everyone a believer, including yeah. Sheldon Keefe and Kyle Dubas. But um, they acquired him. They let him reset. Got in some time with the Marlies. Now he's up here, and he's going to get a crack with two really good players. Brian. And this is it for him. This is it. I was just going to say, in most circumstances, and Jamie wasn't coaching, and he's seen these guys come and go. They right. it happens all the time. We've all seen it at every level. Yeah. And I would usually say that this guy needs to find a way to stay in the league. Like some guys, they score in junior. They come up to the NHL. It just doesn't happen for them. And you got to develop into a checker. You got to be able to find something that the coach values to put you on the ice. You have to reinvent yourself. Not everybody can score at the big league level. No, but you're this right. guy, this is his last chance. He's, he's going down Young Street in the Weirsy Mobile right now, and half <laughs> of it's veering to the Marlies, and half of it's veering to Scotiabank Arena. So the situation he's put himself in on Tavares' line, it's not like he has that. It's not like he's going to be saying to himself, wow, I have to go and find a way to for the coach to value me, which is checking or kill. He's got to go and provide offense and try to score. But That's the situation he's in. He's not like, oh, I'm going to go be Charlie Hustle and show Sheldon Keefe. He's going to he's put himself uh, in a situation where he's got to see if he can rediscover whatever he had that season in Montreal where he scored 30 goals. And well, if he it, doesn't, it's game over. You're right. But here's what I'll say. I don't know if that's the best thing or the worst thing that could happen to him is if, say, it's a big weekend. Say he gets a goal tonight and, you know, goal tomorrow and an assist. And, like, is all of a sudden the fabric of this guy, his game, been rejuvenated? Like, it wasn't in Ottawa. It wasn't in Pittsburgh. It was, you know, like, they're, to me, they're, he has warts on his game. And if they can figure out the right scenario or find some chemistry. Great. But I, I wholeheartedly believe that he, they want to give him an opportunity to just be an option. I think when it's all said and done after the trade deadline, he's a placeholder for somebody that Kyle's looking to trade for. Right. right they're now. tipping their hand here. Like this, right. this is the position they're looking to address. Right. Right. That's, here is that's the left right side. There. Yeah. 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 And, and, and you're going to have guys go up and down, you know, Hyman's going to be there. Uh, um, Thornton's going to be there. Mikhaev is going to be there. And then, you know, it's it's a mixed bag. The intrigue tonight is Galchenyuk. Uh, and that's obviously a guy you're familiar with. And he's been in the league for quite some time. Third overall pick. He's got the talent. But he has been a suitcase for the better part of two or three years. He's played all over the league. And they're going to give him an app, you know, a real shot tonight, Pierre. They're, they're giving him a chance with, with Tavares and Nylander. I think they're tipping their hands on what they're looking for between now and the trade deadline. But uh, right. what, what are you really expecting? What is reasonable here with Alex Galchenyuk starting tonight? It's funny. I had the exact same thought, Brian. Um, first of all, kudos to Sheldon Keefe for putting Alex Galchenyuk in his natural habitat and not sticking him on the fourth line. Um, now, it may be that it only lasts a period if, if he's a lost cause, but you have to try and maximize this guy's skill set. And, you know, listen, I watched him a lot over the years in Montreal – but every team he's gone to ever since then, uh, I shouldn't say that. Arizona certainly gave him top six minutes. But, you know, a lot of his bit parts and all the teams he's played with since, he's, he's, I don't feel like he's had enough of a shot. And listen, he probably hasn't warranted it, right? I mean, you have to earn that. But this guy isn't going to help you a whole lot in a fourth line. That's just not his DNA. You're not going to get a whole lot of, well, that was a smart play in your defensive zone from Alex Kelchinyak. But you put him with Tavares and Nylander, you might get some pretty, uh, you know, some pretty creative plays. Um, so I, I think it's brilliant that he starts there. I think the timing of it is absolutely what you said. I mean, we're three weeks from the trade deadline. Uh, Kyle Dubas openly has talked about how all of their con most of their conversations are about a forward internally in terms of their phone calls to other teams, and we know that from talking to other teams. So there's no question that 
with Jimmy Vesey plucked off waivers, and Jimmy Vesey had been a disappointment anyway, as you guys know, that this is an opportunity for Galchenyuk, but it's also let's make sure we know we have here with this guy maybe this weekend before we keep making those calls for a Ford. With Pierre yeah. Lebron, our TSN Hockey Insider. Go ahead, Noodles. I was going to say, that makes sense, but it just, you know, I, I, I look at the depth of this team, and, and we've been talking about it on the left side. Like, you know, I would argue even if Galchenyuk just finds his rhythm and plays very well, I, I don't know. I, I still believe that Kyle is, is good going to be you can't get too pavement. caught up in that. Yeah, For sure. you got to like be you, careful. You, I mean, because Jimmy VC had a, a great road trip out west and scores some goals, looks good, and and I know that was farther down in the lineup, but I just I, I have to think that what they're looking for is, hey, it's another guy who can play in case of. Like, I don't think all of a sudden it's like, hey, we, you know, they, here's our here's our second line left winger out of nowhere. We we've, we've had him playing with the Marlies, and he was in Ottawa a month ago. Like, you know, I, I think what they're saying is we think he's better than what he's been playing like in his last couple of years in his career because he's scored He's got 30. that talent he's to got prove 19. that. Well, he can shoot the puck and he yep. can skate. But the thing is, is can he play a structured system? Can he buy in? Can he be consistent enough exactly. for where this team needs him to be? And I think he's a placeholder until they make a trade or, you know, elevate somebody else into that position for mm-hmm. you know for the for the time being but it, he just needs to show that he can play in the league oh still. this is it for him this is his right. last shot he's not getting more than this right i, I can't picture it uh, no and, and and where things have fallen apart for him in the last few years uh and at the beginning of the end of montreal is, is that is exactly what noodle just said is that he starts to play his own game and comes out of the team system that that's when he's gotten himself in the doghouse from team to team to team is that he's got the skill, but it starts to be sort of playing his own thing in his own mind and not really cohesive with what's going on around him. So uh, this is a big big test for him here tonight. Johnny, what are you expecting? How, how does this Galchenyuk situation play out for you? We were talking about 30 goals, Montreal Canadiens. Also, there's seven teams in four years. Whatever the amount of teams is, like, what, what, how do you see it playing out, or what are your expectations? Is there a chance he can succeed? What's the Mike Johnson breakdown of the whole scenario? Well, I mean, I've known Chucky since he's broken in. I've been around Montreal an awful lot, so I, I kind of had a keen sense. And, and I think the first thing is that when you watch him play, sometimes he gets away from the team game and into an individual game. And, and that's not because he's a bad guy and wants to be an individual, individual player, but more so because he doesn't use his teammates as well as he needs to. He's not nobody's good enough to do it on their own, certainly not Alex Galchenyuk. And he's had a hard time consistently playing within the context of a system while also maximizing his talent along with his line mates. And so while I expect to see flashes of excellence because he does have some really high-end skill. I mean, he scored 30 goals playing in the middle as like a 21-year-old. That's hard to do. I'm also expecting moments where you scratch your head saying, what's he doing there? Or he looks lost out there or what's happening. And, and that's, that's what his career has been. It's been some really high moments and the low moments are not as good. I think Toronto right now is, can we catch lightning in a bottle? Can we you know, get a few weeks out of him? Or perhaps it goes so great that we don't have to be quite as desperate to find a replacement by a trade or have another option if someone gets hurt. But I don't expect it to be, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't expect it to be, you know, a long-term viable solution. I don't expect Alex Galchenyuk to be playing, you know, with Tavares in the, in the semifinals of the Stanley Cup playoffs because it's worked so well for two months. It's just the last four years are, are tough to erase, no matter how much confidence he might have for the Marlies or whatever the player development group has done with some of his game. It's just hard to erase a lifetime of habits. 